Before we create our CSV file, we're going to need some data. So let's set up a variable. And this is going to be an array. And it's going to have multiple arrays inside of it. So it's an array and it's going to have arrays within it. And the way that CSV files work typically is that they've got maybe a title for the data. So within the heading, it's going to be the first row. And then the next item in the array is going to be the next row. So we'll have multiple rows. So this can be row. And of course, you can add in content as needed. And if you add in, if you want more columns, you can do that as well. And these values can be anything as these are just some placeholder values that we have that are going to be output into the file. So once you've created the overall structure of the data, you can just make sure that it is uh, it is proper when you output into the console, you can see you've got an array and a bunch of arrays within the array. And this is how the content is structured in preparation for the CSV file. So the next thing that we are ready to do is to create a function where we can export the data into a CSV file. So whenever the user clicks the CSV, download CSV file, we want to trigger this function. So creating a function, create CSV. And then here's where we can pass in data. So if our data is ever changing, then we can always update and change that data. So instead of console log, we can get rid of that. And we're going to invoke passing in some data into a function. And we do have that data that we just created. So let's pass that in. And the reason I'm doing it this way is so that it's going to be more dynamic. And console log, so we'll log out the data. So that's all that function is going to do. So we have something for the next lesson. So let's do a quick refresh. We click the button and we see the output of the data that we're passing in and we're going to build our CSV out of. So go ahead and add that into your project. Set up some dummy default data as well as the function in order to handle the creation of the CSV file. And you're going to be ready to move on to the next lesson. Where we're going to do all of the magic. All the magic is going to happen where we're going to create the CSV file all via JavaScript. So that's still to come.